Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about Twitter and the rules I think is really stupid. So apparently on Twitter, they're basically censoring the word sis. Now you might be asking, why would they be censoring that? Well, apparently to Elon Musk, that's considered basically a slur, which makes no sense in my opinion. Not to mention there is a lot of problems I have with Twitter. So let's say for an example, all right, your intention wasn't to be racist, all right? Now you say the N-word to express something and to see your opinions about something. And basically you saying the N-word is like saying homies. And it's to express yourself in your own way because some people have different ways of expressing themselves. Now the thing with Twitter is they don't condone any of this behavior. Meaning if you say the N-word, whether you're white or black, you will get suspended. This also goes for any different types of slurs. So now you guys might be saying, okay, what's the big deal about the slurs? All right, so here's the big deal about the slur situation. For some people, like myself, we'll get permanently suspended for calling someone that is really bad, like a zoophile, that actually say they want to have sex with their own animal. And they have endorsed a lot of things that are very freaking unhinged and evil. Basically, the zoophile keep saying that they want to fuck their own dogs, and it's very disturbing for a lot of people. That already, Twitter does nothing about that. But when it comes to a slur, when someone says their opinion about something, and maybe it might come off as edgy, Twitter will take it more seriously than someone who fucks their own dogs. And here's another issue. Technically, if someone's a zoophile, it's not breaking the terms of service. So when you're going on Twitter, roaming around Twitter and things like that, and you see a zoo file, they can get away with it. Why? Because it's not against the TOS. This also goes for a lot of different bad things. So the other problem is basically Twitter is allowing minors to be on Twitter, which is the age of 13 or older. But here's the issue. There's a lot of pornography on Twitter. Twitter hasn't really done anything about it and hasn't even age restrict anything really like most of it isn't even age restricted you have easy access to enter anything through this website twitter and you can't do anything about it so if you view those images and they traumatize you in a certain gore or something like that and you're a minor good luck because you're going to end up seeing a lot of weird stuff like that which is unfortunate I wish that Twitter would do something about this. This is a bigger problem. I don't know why they care so much about slurs. And they should be just focusing on these types of things. that are a bigger problem on Twitter than focusing on the word cis. Alright? Basically, it's stupid. The other problem I have is basically Twitter really like doesn't do anything about the zoo file. Why? Because technically they aren't breaking the TOS. So there's not much you can do about these people because you try to find anything to report them for, but there isn't any report button for them because technically zoophilia isn't against the TOS. But when you say the word retard or you say the F slur or you say a bunch of different things, that's against the TOS right away. But as soon as you basically call out a zoo file for being a zoo file, you will also get permanently suspended. Make sense? No, it doesn't. Because reality is, is Twitter isn't fixing anything, isn't fixing uh, pro-free speech. It's not even fixing free speech in the first place. It's literally censoring everything we say. So at this point, we're going to become so sensitive that we're not going to be able to take any type of criticism. Now here's the problem with Twitter. It's becoming more on the emotional side than it is becoming on the logical side. So the thing is now there's no logic in Twitter that the fact that basically anyone could be permanently suspended or just locked from their account and basically for saying some edgy stuff. Now, me as a person, I say edgy stuff sometimes, and it's not my intention to always be that edgy, although it does happen, and sometimes I catch myself being a little edgier most times. And then basically, 
I get suspended for it because I made an, a super edgy joke that pretty much everyone makes at a certain point in time. It just has to be lucky enough to not get permanently suspended by getting reported. And that's another issue is the mass flagging inside Twitter. I see a lot of people that will go out and say, hey, we need to permanently suspend this person for saying a slur. But then they end up saying a slur and they get away with it every single freaking time. So how are we going to fix this whole issue of Twitter if Twitter isn't going to care about any of this? They don't care about the freedom of speech. They're the least ones to care about freedom of speech. I'd like Twitter to please let freedom of speech because seriously, man, I feel like Twitter is just beyond less than even freedom of speech. There's no freedom in here. At this point, comedy is dead. The thing I loved about comedy is it, they had freedom of speech in it, but unfortunately made comedy rest in peace because we do not have comedy in Twitter anymore because comedy is really dead. And there's nothing we can do about it at this point. All we can do is basically hope we don't get suspended and hope nothing bad happens, which unfortunately Twitter doesn't care about us. And for the last part I do want to say is basically if they really made such a big deal over an edgy joke, they should just end up locking, not permanently suspending. That is my opinion because the idea that permanently suspending people should be more focused on people like a zoophile or pedophilia. It should never be focused on someone directly that is just being a little edgier than usual. Now, if you want to lock their account for a week or a day, then I mean, I can't stop you, Twitter. But the thing is, then I'd at least get a little bit more respect that you're not permanently suspending people for being a little edgy. Because seriously, edgy was part of freedom of speech in some way. Because edgy is basically in all of us. We're all edgy at times. And no matter what you want to say, you can disagree with it or agree with it. You can say that you're never edgy. But the truth is, we are all edgy in different ways. And we all say something edgy time to time. And we all say shit we shouldn't say. Anyways, like, subscribe for more. And if you don't, uh, Twitter will probably end up mass reporting every single Twitter account that you have, just like me. Love y'all and peace out.